One unique feature in Origin is its ability to update the values of columns from operations such as data transformations, analyses, and statistics when either the input data changes or the analysis parameters are modified. This feature simply ties a result to an input, allowing users to automatically update their results. Let's look at a few examples. First, let's demonstrate setting column values. In this data, we see the melting points of various metals in Fahrenheit, but we want to calculate the temperature in centigrade. To do this, one can simply type the equation in the corresponding columns function cell. So in this case, column C is equal to column B minus 32 times 5 ninths. This sets up an operation where the input column is B and the output column is C. The latter shows a lock symbol, indicating an operation is associated with this column. Because of this, you'll notice that as I change the input column, the output column automatically updates. Here is another example where a moving average function has been applied to sunspot data. Let's click on the lock symbol which represents the operation and choose change parameters. In this example, you can see that origin has been set up to pick up the values in the adjacent columns and use these for the backward and forward values of the moving average. So if we change these values, say to 50, you will notice in this case that the lock is turned yellow, indicating a difference between the input values and the expected output. This means that our column has been set to manually recalculate functions. Now let's switch this to auto and see that our results update every time one of our inputs is modified. Let's look at another example where some signal processing has been performed on our data by using a smoothing analysis. Let's click on the lock icon and change parameters. As you can see from the dialog, an adjacent averaging was applied which doesn't seem to do a very good job with our data. Let's change this to another method, percentile filter. And if we select the preview tick box, we can see our result, which looks considerably better than our previous smoothing function. Let's click OK. Just to illustrate that, you can call back the operation with whatever parameter settings you'd used previously, and make changes which update the result. Finally, let's look at an example where curve fitting has been performed on peaked data. Here are the results from the curved fit. If we click on the lock and select Change Parameters, we'll open the nonlinear fit dialog in this case where a Gaussian fit has been performed and the resulting data of the curve has been embedded as a floating graph in the book itself. Due to the recalculation feature, and given that the graph and the results will automatically update, it lends nicely in origin to set up an operation that contains both inputs and outputs within a single book as a simple template for analysis. For example, if we drag and drop some different data, our values update, and in turn our graph and analysis updates. These have been just a few examples of the powerful feature that is the Recalculate tool, allowing you to set up operations and easily modify data or operation parameters to automatically update your results.